Scientist who studies Boyd's in the Amazon is offering a thousand bucks for a rare red woodpecker. Ho oh, ho! Oh. Hiya, friendo. Mind if I play through? Oh! <coughs> Why, hello, chum. <coughs> Clearly, you are a talented golfer of profound skill and aptitudes. Have you ever played the Amazon Back Nine? I've never even heard of the Amazon Back Nine, bub. Well, then this is your lucky day. Because I, Buzz Buzzard, of Buzz Buzzard's Air Ground and Anywhere Else Just Wanna Go Tours, have one seat left on my Amazon Golf Package. And I'm giving it away. Complimentary free-like. Free? We're breaking in a few new caddies down in the Amazon, and uh, we uh, need a few golfers of your professional stabilities to uh, uh, let us know what you think. Yeah. Wow. Free golf and my own caddy. Amazon, here we come. <laughs> now that's a water hazard. No pickin'. We don't want to spoil the rest of the course for years ahead of time. So long, suck it, yeah, Professor. Nice doing business with you. <laughs> <laughs> now you are mine, my precious woodpecker. Oh, yes, into the cage so I can study you close up. <laughs> I never heard of such lousy service. I'm reporting. Whoa! <laughs> Good day. Basil Birdhound here. Oh, my caddy. Okay. Hey, uh, grab the bag, Basil. That's Basil. Where's the first fairway, anyhow? <laughs> Stay still, you silly bird. <laughs> yes, and now there'll be no more laughter when the name Basil Birdhound is mentioned. Oh, must you worth my old college professor when I return to England and show you my brilliant studies on this one-of-a-kind bird, you will see once and for all that I have bird seed on the brain. <laughs> oh. Oh. So the hunt is on. <laughs> Like a bad habit. <laughs> now, which way to civilization? What the? Basil Birdhound always gets his bird. you have a cup of tea? Oh, yeah. I love tea. <laughs> it is the most civilized of all social practices, don't you agree? Uh, quite. I rank it right up there with... Uh, getting you off my tail, you freak! <laughs> Tell <-ho! laughs> So then I said to the judge, a stolen...
one hat, but your honor, it's not a hat, it's shoulder pads! <laughs> you get it? Shoulder pads! Oh, that is rich! <laughs> Basil wants to show his rare bird studies to old Professor Mustyworth, then I'll help him do just that. <laughs> Cheerio! About time you showed up, bird hound! A bit of a sticky wicket, this jungle, eh, what? Uh, Professor Mustyworth, you look different. Didn't you learn anything in my class? Why ever are you chasing some run-of-the-mill red woodpecker? What are you thinking, dog? Uh, 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 professor, uh, how, how did you, uh, I, I mean... When right outside your door is the extremely rare Bozidus Stupidus. Look for yourself. <gasps> yes, I see him, Professor. Oh, yes, he must be the stupidest bird in the animal kingdom. <laughs> uh, so, uh, go make him your life's work. Yes, yes, I shall doggedly hound him to the ends of the earth. <laughs> I must have the basset! <laughs> but Woody Woodpecker always gets the last laugh. <laughs> Salvage Hunter Smedley, the world famous finder of lost undersea treasures, am about to fulfill my lifelong mission. These here little old X's mark the secret spots of the underwater treasure that's up for grabs to anyone who's smart enough to find it. I'm going to locate it all and retire rich, rich, rich on the sunny beaches of Tahiti. Undersea treasure? Here I come! Huh? Well, shiver my timbers. That's sailor talk. Are you a stowaway? Yes. You, penguin! Like my mama always said, good riddance to bad rubbish. <laughs> out a certain stowaway and keep him from stowing away on my beach chair. Permanent like. My high-tech diving suit enables me to stay underwater longer than most divers. This here pirate ship sank over 300 years ago. And I'll just bet there's a big surprise waiting inside of this little old treasure chest. <laughs> Pirate Ghost! You again? Come back here and fight like a man, you little penguin! about enough of this horseplay! Get off my sub and stay off! Bon voyage, little penguin. 
Fifteen men on a seaman's chest. Yo ho hum and a barrel of fun. This here powerful undersea vacuum can collect twice the booty in half the time. Hmm. Why you? Give me back my key, you little vacuum clogger. Get back here! The wreckage of this here old battleship might contain some historical like treasures. Even an expert salvage hunter has to be careful using dynamite to free him up. Hmm. Sounds like something's already a might bit loose hereabouts. In this case, it's not. That boy is really starting to rust my doubloons. Cease and desist, for I desist you myself. Uh-oh. I'll just enter through the propeller shaft and surprise him to pieces. Yow! That does it, Penguin. It's Davy Jones' locker for you. Come back here, you little treasure trasher, you. Oh! No! Don't open that one! your names and tell us your games. Hi, I'm Woody Woodpecker. I like long naps on the beach, breakfast in bed, and... <laughs> I'm Ms. Meanie. I was a Navy SEAL and I take no prisoners. Now that's the kind of doggy dog spirit our viewers love on Extreme Island. Okay, the first challenge is food gathering. Ooh. Whoever stores up the biggest food supply and keeps the other from stealing it wins round one! Hey! Yo, Carl, where's my trailer? And, uh, where's all the snacks they have around TV show sets? I'm famished. F Finding food's part of the game. <laughs> I've been... I've been over every inch of this island. 
there isn't a pizza parlor or a Hasty Mart anywhere. <gasps> hmm. Maybe I gotta start shopping at Mother Nature's supermarket instead. Tree. It's survival of the fittest, not the dim-wittest woodpecker. <laughs> Cow wants to see dog eat dog, huh? I'll show him woodpecker eat. Ugh. What an amazing job! Military training, I learned to find food in the most out of the way places. Well, 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 hey. Mr. Woodpecker. Looks like Meanie's kicking your ever loving beach combing bum, don't it? <laughs> so, uh, what are you gonna do about it, huh? Ah. what we like to see. Two competitors going at it mono a mono. Now, our next competition is a real test of fortitude. <laughs> Out of my way, woodpecker. That volcano of prizes is mine. She just put some kind of guest away hurting on you, hey, Mr. Woodpecker? Out of my way, Carl. This woodpecker makes wide turns. Oh, home sweet home! What an amazing shelter! Is this yours, Meanie? Why, uh, yes! Yes, it is, Carl! Do I win? What do you got? Sunstroke, this is my house! Well, there you go. Looks like it is! Woody Woodpecker wins round two! But my house was here first! <laughs> well, looks like a tie game. And that means it's time for... The Gauntlet of Endurance! This obstacle course leads to the very top of our volcano of prizes. As a tiebreaker, whoever gets there first wins everything! What pecker? That does it! Just like I took Pork Chop Hill back in the military! Do you want Volcano? I'll give you Volcano. Ah! Volcano erupted! Woohoo! I made it! I win! Woody Woodpecker! You've won everything in the Volcano! Hmm. What's burning? <laughs> Wraps up another explosive episode of Extreme Island. Tune in next time when our new co champions will face off against one another on a frigid, very remote island off the coast of Alaska. What? Not a chance! Wait, wait, come back! The, the, the audience loves you too! No, I mean, you, you, you'll get your own spin-off. <laughs> get off me,
country fair. I'm taking my entry in the Hooray for Souffle contest over to the fairgrounds. While I'm gone, you have to babysit my niece. What? No way. Maybe you should get busy reviewing paragraph 3, subsection C, item 21A of your rental agreement. Ah! <sighs> Must babysit whenever needed or face eviction. Oh, man. She certainly looks uh, related. She's been at that book all week trying to earn a country cadet talent badge. <laughs> Jeannie, Woody here is gonna help you find a talent while I'm gone. <laughs> there better not be any problems, Woodpecker, or believe you me, there'll be problems. Ta ta. So, you uh, figure out your talent yet? Nope. Mind if I watch TV while you figure it out? Nope. Mind if I take a nap? Nope. Uh, all right, then. <laughs> what? What's the matter? What do you think I'm good at, Mr. Woodpecker? Bothering me. That, Mr. Woodpecker. Maybe you could show me that. I'm good at napping. Watch. Yeah, what? My Country Cadets Handbook says woodpeckers are good with wood projects. Yep, I'm real good with wood. When I'm not napping. Ever 
created for himself. Retreat! Retreat! What is going on here? Oops. I still don't have a talent, Auntie. I'll never get my badge now. That's messed up. Exactly what your talent is, Genie. Sergeant, I know you're heading out on vacation. Well, the Antarctic Corps would like you to take it right here. But, sir, I was going to a warm tropical island. You scratch our back and we'll scratch yours, Hogwash. I'm assigning you to a priority one assignment. The military has been working on this secret biodome for over a year. What you're about to see is top secret. Meant for your eyes only. Ah, <gasps> oh, it's a paradise. Yes, it's the pinnacle of modern military science. Everything here, from the steam from the artificial volcano to the smallest grain of sand, is designed to nurture a single precious crop. I hope it's yams. I love yams. Whoa! Ultra Nanas, a bioengineered superfood with all the nutrients for the army on the move. Oh, it's not yams. Sergeant, you are not to eat the bananas or touch the bananas. You are only to look at the bananas when you're feeding and watering them. Understood, sir. On second thought, you better not even look at him. Uh, sir, about my vacation. Enjoy it, Sergeant. As long as the structure is secure and the Ultra Nanas are thriving, you are free to enjoy all the dome's amenities. Carry on! Sir, yes, sir, see and sundry, see and sir! Vacation? Here I come. A little drip here and a little bitty drop there. And now it's time to unwind. Ooh. Incoming! <laughs> Huh? Halt, you little bad burglar! You're transacting on government property! Wow! Gotcha! Penguin, you are about to receive a lesson in trajectory. Can escape hogwash o the jungle, did you? Well, no knick-knack jingle jungling way, Pee-wee. 
You are hereby dishonorably discharged! Here you go, my little thirsty worsty. A drinky winky. And don't you worry, that bad boy penguin won't bother you anymore. Now it's time to play. Ding, ding, ding. Uh, 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 die, die. Uh, uh. No pilfering penguin's gonna foul up my furlough. Quit your splashing in my face. You going down, boy. I've always wanted to try one of these. What? You've ruined my r and one time too many, you banana peeling pirate! Song to die. Uh, your vacation leave is permanently terminated until you fix that biodome top to bottom and regrow those ultra nanas. Now move it, move it, move it, move it, move it. Race. Oh, that's rich! 
get ready to swim, Twiggy. Swim? Oh, no, bossy. I sink a lot. Oh. Don't worry. When you push this little button here, you'll become instantly unsinkable. On your marks. Get set. And go. Uh, 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 oh, water is like this. vacation, don't you? Yeah, but just once I'd like to be the one putting rocks in your pants. Divers ready, set, and dive. Dive when he dives. Off you go. <laughs> wow. goes to Winnie and Woody Woodpecker. That means we're down to the final event, surfing. Winnie, you do the surfing, I'll watch the cheating. These woodpeckers aren't getting turnpiked, no way. Oh, hello, boss. This ain't working so good. Quit your grousing. Now to take care of them woodpeckers once and for all. Oh, a shark! A shark! Man, knock it off. It's just me. Oh, I, not everyone can carry off that look, but you can, boss. Get ready, Winnie! There's something fishy going on out there. Ah, shark! Fishy like a buzzard shark.
What a place. While we're gone, I'm counting on you to answer the phones and wash the truck. And, as a training fireman, if there's a real emergency, call on the radio. Don't try to be a hero. 10-4, yes, sir. I'm a trainee, sir. Over and out, chief. <laughs> I got the firehouse all to myself. <laughs> Forget trainee. I'm a fireman. I'm a fireman. <laughs> beep, beep, beep. Look out, lady. <laughs> ah! Don't jump, little fella. I'll save you. You wait right there. Hey, what's the big idea? Rock Granite's the name. Saving lives is my game. I'm a real fireman. Hey, uh, what does a guy have to do around here to chow down, wear a uniform, and zip around in that flashy truck anyway? So you want to be a fireman? It's not easy, you know. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure. Let's just get to the good stuff. Uh-huh. No firehouse goodies till you prove you've got what it takes to be a real hero, like Rock Granite. And you start out by washing the truck. What? Oh, we're gonna have some fun together, you and me. Fire's one thing, but ever rescue a kitten from a tree? Big, fluffy, woofy ones? <whistles> what a rush! And between calls, I'll teach you how to crochet pants. Knit one, pearl one, drop one. No grub, no uniform, no driving the truck till I prove I got what it takes. Well, what do you know? Here's my chance. Well, howdy, ma'am. Can Fireman Woody borrow your baby doll for a safety demonstration? Ooh, oh my. Uh, Rock, do you hear a child crying? Have no fear, Rock is here! Set yourself down while Woody's around. You're a trainee! My baby is stuck! Help! Someone help! <laughs> nice job. Uh, don't worry, ma'am. A little soap should do the trick. I'm coming, little lady! Now look here, Bub. My hero. Yes, I am a hero. How would you like some baby booties for Junior? Woody, a hand. In fact, both hands. Your baby will have booties faster than you can say rock granite would look great in a cape. I'll make sure this guy doesn't help me out this time. <laughs> Really? All righty then. Ah! Ah! 
Have no fear. Woody's here. I'll handle this, trainee. Come back here. I got you now. Give me that net. And stay on that fire truck. Trainee granted. Trainee? And why isn't the truck washed? How do you expect to become a real fireman if you don't do your job? But I... I Chief, the woodpecker. I mean, I... I, I can I crush your muffler? A pair of socks. Chief, you look snappy in a knitted bathing suit. Oh, yeah. What a day. Thanks for saving my cart, woodpecker. As far as I'm concerned, you get free hot dogs for life. Oh, boy. Starting now? <laughs> Pancakes are the best pancakes in the whole world. Chow down, eat up, and fill out that uniform, little soldier. <laughs> You're gonna make your Uncle Hogwash proud. We always oh. remember our motto. The Antarctic core is a cold core, but it's... A lot of fun. Our motto is... The Antarctic core is a cold core, but it is a good core. Junior. Hooey, that's a really swell motto, huh? Mm -mm, I gotta write that down. No more pancakes until you have completed your daily duties. Now, do them all, do them well, and do not report back to me until they are done. As you were, soldier. Ooh. Hey, come back here, you! <laughs> Oh, it's a cute little old penguin thief. Bye-bye, <laughs> penguin. Let's see. The first thing I gotta do is secure the perimeter of the base. Wow, the perimeter goes all around the base. This can make a soldier dizzy. Handles pancake thieves. The guard on duty. Ooh, that's me! Stop! Ah, they... ah! Ooh. Hmm. Soft snow. Ah. You get back here with those flapjacks before I tell my uncle. Mm, better not tell uncle. <laughs> I gotta do is to clean the top secret mosquito bomb launcher. Mm, when I did this in training class, I itched for a month. Step one, remove the mosquito bomb from the launching mechanism. I know right where that is. And put it out of harm's way. Here it'd be good. Perfect. Step two. A good soldier needs to be able to do this operation blindfolded. Mm, I don't remember this part from training school. Now remove the scope. Where's the scope? Here's Scopey Scopey.
No, penguins are fast and very sneaky. Aha! You better drop that tall stack. Got him! Uh-oh. Hey, <laughs> that'll show you who's bossing you around here. Me! The Antarctic core is a cold core, but it is the... Uh, uh, I got it here somewhere. Well, it's a cold core, but it is better than a mosquito body in the butt. <laughs> Next thing I gotta do is organize the supply shed. With that sneaky penguin out of the way, this job should be way easy. Guess I showed that scaredy penguin a thing or two or three about me. Hmm? What's this? From the office of Uncle Hogwash. Pack all pancakes in the mess hall onto a snowmobile. Have Private Chili Willy, right, that's you, have him remove them from the base. We have information that an infiltrator may be after him. Hmm, brilliant strategy. That's why my uncle is the Sarge. Nothing gets by him, no siree. Carry on, Private Chili Willy. No! You're not in the Antarctic core! You are just a stinky little penguin cheater, and I don't like stinky little penguin cheaters! Oh! Stop! I told you, no flapjacks until your duties were done. Are your duties done, soldier? No, sir, but a penguin. Then you will finish them now and prove your Antarctic core material. Is that understood? Yes, sir. And why? Because the Antarctic core is a cold core, but it's what? A core with a lot of duties? No, it's a cold core, but it's... Sometimes warm. No, it's a cold core, but it's... It's your core, uncle. Yes, no. Is the Woody World almost ready? Ready, not it! Cowabunga! Ah! The Pinkin' Pool! Woohoo! Woohoo! Here comes the Woodpecker Wash! Wow! My old skateboard course! How did you guys... Skateboarders and their coaches are making fortunes on the pro circuit. There are TV deals, equipment endorsements, and big prizes. Wow! <laughs> <laughs> With your talent and my coaching, these babies are gonna make us rich and famous. This is great, Uncle Woody! Yeah, a real skateboard part! I called the scout in this article. He's coming to check you guys out, impress him, and we could get a pro skateboarding contract. Did you hear that, Louie? Those wooden heads want to go pro. Well, I've been skating this park for months. If anyone's getting a pro contract around here, it's gonna be me. Louie, we got work to do. Okay, first things first. 
you want to impress a pro scout, you gotta look like pros. Image is the most important thing. Um, I don't think so. <laughs> and now to make you two hot dogs look like you're skateboarding 100 miles an hour just standing still. Well, you got the hot dog part right. Mustard, eh? <laughs> <laughs> it's Billy and Louie! They're skateboard scum! Well, it's gonna take a lot more than their dumb tricks to stop us. Well, the scout's gonna wanna see pro moves like the Freddy Freakout, the Zapata Zigzag, and the Rooster Rail Ride. We can do those, Uncle Woody! Louie, we'll help you do some moves they'll never forget. Great move! The Freddy Freak Out! <laughs> you mean the Marble Meltdown. Dude's okay? Uh, yeah, I think so. Hey, go skate the kitty course. Oh, oof. Hey, what's going on? These are the kids you came to see. Yeah, well, I just about designed this course. I deserve any pro contracts that's being handed out. You're nothing but a smelly cheater. And you don't play fair. Hey, the only way for you to settle this is for you to decide for yourself, Chief. Of course, we'd love to race the little wooden heads, but look. They have annihilated and otherwise trashed the entirety of the course, so uh, no racing today. Says who? <laughs> <laughs> Yay, Uncle Woody! Way to go! How are we gonna beat him if we never skated this course before? This is all your fault! Circuit. Woohoo! Like going pro? Get some rest, coach. We start training 10 hours a day. First thing in the air. 10 hours a day? That's way too much work. No way! 